Maybe Superhands will be in some sort of cold turkey coma, and me and Big Suze can just sort of work around him. N nah. Better to take the bull by the horns. Just get him out of there. Maybe I could do something devious, like tell him there's a crack house in the basement. Oh, he just come back. I could call the police or watchdog or somebody and ask them to put him in prison or on television or something. Or, I know, I'll just tape a bag of drugs to the frisbee and throw it out of the French windows. The drugs frisbee. Slightly degrading for him, but then he is a junkie, so he's probably used to a bit of degradation. Crawling around in the mud and the earth and under the dead babies for his stash, eating lice and lying in sick to stay high. It's all in a day's work for him. Brilliant. The drugs frisbee. Maybe I can market them, get Howard Marks to endorse it. People could throw them across borders. I'd be like an international hero to junkies, hopheads, druggies, freaks, addicts, and zeros. I suppose it would anger the drug cartels. I guess I could cut those lovely guys in for a slice of the frisbee-shaped pie. Everybody's happy. This is definitely the way to the hotel. Definitely. I haven't been walking around in circles for the last hour. That would be ridiculous. That's just not going to happen. That tree does look very familiar. Don't panic. Of course it does. It, it's just a tree. They all look alike. That's why you don't have celebrity trees. Actually, I bet soon they will have celebrity trees. <laughs> all I have to do is keep striding purposefully along. If I keep walking confidently, then I'm bound to get somewhere. It's inevitable. If you walk, you get somewhere. Dithering is death. If I stop and start to think about the fact that I don't really have any idea where I'm going, then madness could descend. I bet Monty never stopped in the middle of the desert, got out of his tank and looked at the map and scratched his head. Nor his logistical team, scouts or reconnaissance vehicle drivers. No, they bravely pushed forward, onward, relentlessly. The wrong direction is better than no direction. That was Monty's motto. Possibly. Oh, God, I really have no clue where I am. It would not be out of the question for me to actually physically die. I really wish I hadn't smoked that joint before I came out here. It's a very bad time to have the munchies. I don't want to be the first person to die of the munchies. Actually, I can't be the first person. There was that guy in the Cheech and Chong film. <laughs> that was a good film. Wow. A dead, big rabbit? My God, that is a massive rabbit. Maybe I should eat it. Why not? It's meat. If it was shaved and had its head and feet cut off and put in a polystyrene tray, it would probably go for eleven ninety nine in Tesco's finest. Plus, it's probably really healthy. Cavemen lift off stuff like this, and they weren't going around complaining of bad backs and diabetes. They were running away from lions and hiding in trees and jumping on gazelles. Yeah, lovely rotting carrion. I could toast it with my lighter for a bit, part by part. Big rabbit kebab. Be something to tell people. Although, not necessarily in a good way. Actually, might leave it. Not because it's probably bursting with maggots. Because it's disrespectful. To a fallen comrade of the night. Godspeed, you, oh giant rabbit! Oh, sure. Rub two sticks together. Of course, that's how you make fire. If one of the sticks is covered in sandpaper and the other has been dipped in phosphorus. Fucking scouts didn't teach me anything useful. Even James Dodd taught me the wrong way to masturbate. Took me long enough to come back from that dead end. Still, got the hang of it eventually. Scouts. Sitting around the fire singing Kumbaya. It's all very well, but it's hardly going to save anyone's life, is it? Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. Oh, Lord, Kumbaya. I just want to make it clear, God, I'm not pleading for your aid since patently you don't exist. However, if my pathetic act of veneration in some probably made up mishmash ethno language has brought me to your attention it would be pretty bloody brutal of you to let me die just because as yet I haven't seen empirical proof of your existence oh my god I was right I was right and Mark was wrong that is 
That is fucking amazing! Woohoo! Fuck you, Corrigan! Stick it up, you Royston! But what if Mark never makes it back? What if he's dead? I should go out and look for him. Like Han looked for Luke in The Empire Strikes Back, even though it was night on an ice planet. He'll be all right. Probably. I mean, he might not be all right, but there again, he might. There's no way of telling. I'll call Mountain Rescue. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Give them a ring from the hotel. Sorted. Although, it will kind of ruin the love vibe with me and Suze if there's a possibility hanging in the air that Mark might be dead. Girls go weird over things like that. Or I suppose, possibly, she might think it was so incredibly tragic and sad that she needs comforting. Long and hard. Mm. Bit of a dilemma. Probably what I might think is that he's back already. Yeah, he's back already. I thought he was back already. Is everything not right? I naturally assumed he was back already. Oh, Mark, I naturally assumed you got back before me because you're better at maps and walking and everything practical like that. Oh, dear me, is that not the case? That'll teach the bastard. A shit, a shower and a shave. 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 Probably should stop that now. I might be going a little bit mental. A nice hot bath and roast beef with all the trimmings. A nice hot bath and roast beef with all the trimmings. A nice hot bath and roast beef with all the trimmings. No, just think. Don't turn everything into a gloomy mantra or I'll start singing Boney M and give up the ghost like in Touching the Void. A nice warm bed with clean sheets and Sophie to cuddle. Lovely Sophie. Annoying, difficult, cloying Sophie. It does feel good. Freeing. Not asking her to marry me. But is it freeing in a Shawshank Redemption, just escape from prison after 25 years via two miles of sewage type way? Or a just set fire to my house with my family still inside it, driving to the airport to get the first available flight type way. I mean, freedom is a concept, but do I actually want it? Isn't it really better to have someone else to tell you what you want rather than having to think about it for yourself? I mean, the French, when they had their revolution, they had a nice new flag and lots of great ideas about the rights of man, but there was also a lot of cutting people's heads off. And then Napoleon and the long, cold winter on the Russian steppes. Yep, that's where I'm headed. That's where it all ends in the end. Why does everything have to end dead, frozen, outside Moscow?